has been the best season for the Bulldogs since 2016. Coach Fortune's squad has already collected a by district trophy this season. Next goal, of course, an area around gold ball. This is a tall task. Byron Nelson came into tonight undefeated and ranked in the state at number seven. Aaron Gelvin has been out in the tall city probably all evening. You saw him at five. You saw him at six. He's here with us at 10. He has more insight and an answer on whether or not the mission was accomplished. Aaron. Well, the dogs hosting their second straight playoff game and Midland High School looking to continue their best season since 2016, standing in their way tonight. The seventh ranked team in the state trophy trophy club Byron Nelson. And let's take a look at those highlights from our first half. Byron Nelson and Midland High, the Bobcats and the Bulldogs. One team will walk out of here as area champions. The dogs showing all kinds of moxie to start this game, forcing a fumble by the Cats and then pounding it into the end zone with Elijah McCoy from a yard out. Not loading up the box on the goal line to stop McCoy tonight is a bad idea, right? Elijah says thank you very much and puts MHS on top. To the second quarter we go and the Bobcats driving in a tie ball game. An explosive play here gets them into the strike zone and Byron Nelson finishes the drive with a touch pass to the corner of the end zone and they would take a 14 to seven lead. Third down with MHS trying to jumpstart a drive but the Bobcat defense turns away the run. The purple and gold would go into the locker room at halftime trailing by just a touchdown against the number seven team in the state of Texas. I'm here with the head coach of the Midland High Bulldogs. Coach, not the way you wanted this night to go, but what can an experience like this do for you guys going forward when you're back in the playoffs in the future? Well, you, you just really, you can't, you can't say enough about what it'll do. There's no way to replicate this. Um, just the, you know, the tension, the, the weight on every play, um, the, magn you know, the magnitude of your mistakes when you make them, and then also the, on the other side, just the, how important it is when you make good plays. And so we were able to do uh, both of those things tonight. Obviously, we, we made more mistakes and big plays, and, and that's kind of how football always breaks. Well, the Bulldogs would fall tonight by a final score of 35-7. to seven. Uh, Byron Nelson just too much in the second half. They won that second half by a score of 21-0. to zero. But the future, very bright here for the Purple and Gold. Uh, this was year three under head coach Thad Fortune, and they made the playoffs. They won a playoff game. They were extremely competitive in District 2-6A after missing the postseason and just winning one game in that same district a year ago. So they are certainly on the ascent. This is a team that feels like they are just coming and climbing climbing as fast as they can to continue to build towards some more playoff victories. Uh, Coach Fortune said this was a great experience for them to get to see a team like this that was ranked very highly in the state to have this kind of atmosphere two weeks in a row for a home playoff game and to be able to just see what it's like in the playoffs. They hadn't had this group in this arena yet, obviously, here in just year three. That wraps it up for Midland High season, and that's going to wrap it up for me here at Astound Broadband Stadium tonight. We'll take things back to the studio.